Frequently, when we use the universal wave equation, we also use it with our kinematics equation, as I said. So let's do a problem that uses both those equations. A person sings a note of 1,316 hertz and with a wavelength of 0.25 meters. So they sing and they hear an echo come back after 12 seconds. And the question is, how far away was that mountain that they were getting the reflection from? So uh, first I'm gonna write down what I'm given. Uh, the note, the frequency is 1360 hertz. Uh, the wavelength, which is lambda, is 0 0.25 meters. Uh, the time for the echo is 12 seconds. So I want to know what is the distance that um, this mountain was at. Well, no, distance implies I need to know uh, the velocity and the time. So I'm going to use the formula V equals D over T. That's my formula that relates the distance to the velocity of these waves. I rearrange that formula and I get D is equal to V times T. So how fast the wave travels is equal to how far it travels divided by the time. I rearrange that. That's the distance that the wave traveled. I need to know how fast was the wave traveling and how long was it traveling for. Well, I know this. I know the time it took was 12 seconds. How fast was the wave traveling? Well, that's where this formula comes into play. Uh, for the speed of the wave, I say V equals F lambda. So I find the velocity of the wave is the frequency, 1360, times the wavelength, 0 0.25. So I find out that this wave, this sound wave, is traveling at 340 meters per second. I have a fast way of traveling and how, how long it travels, so I'm looking for the distance it travels. So D is equal to V times T, 340 times 12. The distance the wave travels was 4,080 meters. But that's how far the wave traveled, and the wave went from there to there, because I heard the echo 12 seconds later. So the mountain's not 4,080 meters away. It's going to be half that distance. It took uh, half the distance to get there and half to get back is 4,080. So the actual distance is half of this, which is 2,040 meters. So this cliff or mountain is 2,040 meters. So you can see we use a formula of V equals F lambda and a formula of V equals D over T. This is how fast the wave is traveling. This is how fast the wave is traveling. So there are a number of problems you can do where you use this formula and this formula together. This is just one sample.